Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to Autodromo Claudio Vietes. This was a circuit that I hadn't heard about um, before Luca, one of the guys on the Studio 397 forums, asked me to take a look at the RW file here. Um, since then, totally fallen in love with this track. Really suits the brand, the new Porsche 911 GT3 Cup cars. Uh, so we're going to do 8 laps here today. I've run a qualifier where I placed 11th out of 16 cars, completely stuffed it up. Um, We'll have a chat about the Porsches, we'll have a chat about the IRW file as we go, have a bit of fun and uh, talk about some of the things I'd like to do in the future. So let's get this underway, let's see how we go. I'm going to bog this down at the start because I've chosen the wrong wheel for this. I don't have a clutch. And you really need a clutch for these Porsches at the start, so I'm going to lose a whole bunch of spots here. Yep. Let's see if I can be a little bit cheeky. Yeah. Oh, back up to 11th. Up to 8th. So I've got the cars set to 107 here. Now they're going to make some mistakes because that's how I have my um, player like Jason file set as always. Oh, there you go. Move to block. Cold brakes. Um, when I first had a look at this track, some of the cars were doing some very odd stuff, um, especially corners like this one here. Um, they'd have a very odd corner exit, lose some speed. Same with here, odd corner entry here, and some braking part the way out of this corner. So, really they weren't competitive no matter what you set them to. You set them all the way up to 120 to make them competitive with you, which may basically means you know, you've got no room to improve. So, um, kind of reworked everything. Um, new fastest. I um, can't remember if there was a blocking or not, but I've created a new blocking file. New pit um, entry exit for both. Um, so I'm going to package this one up as an update. And I'm going to start doing that for all of them now so that people don't have to um, have any knowledge about using an RW file. You can just drop the update into your packages folder, install and away you go. Um, and one of the other things I'd like to do moving forward is also work on wet racing lines as well. So I've asked Marcel a couple of questions. Hopefully I'll get something back on that. Um, I'd like to look at how to use uh, drying lines, if that's at all possible, on uh, a wet line rather than the rubber line. Um, just to make things a little bit more realistic, a little bit more engaging. Um, I think that'll add to the immersion a lot. So. Hopefully I can get to do some of that stuff soon. Um, kind of working on the Gold Coast track that I uh, updated a couple of weeks ago. Because uh, I think it really suits that kind of wet racing and the V8 supercars. They're all over the place. Um, so that's what I've done. That's what I'd like to do. Hopefully it makes uh, life a little bit easier for people if I um, provide these as just update packages. I might have a chat with the guys uh, at Dusco Tracks about this one and see if they are interested in packaging this file up on their site for them. I don't want anything for it, they can just have it. So make that clear. And let's still go have a bit of a chat about this Porsche. This Porsche, um, I bought it day one. I've been having a little bit of fun with it. Um, so this isn't kind of like a, um, a first day, oh mate! A first day um, gush, but um, this is probably one of my top three or five cars. Um, just the level of feedback that you get from this car and the, uh, the concentration that you've got to have while driving it. You've got to, this is a car that you've got to drive on the edge to get the most out of. And obviously it's, um, it's more likely to spit you out when you are. Um, but having said that, it's a car that gives you an, a ton of feedback about what it's doing. Um, you can feel the front slipping and you can feel the rear rotating on you and you can correct it if you're quick enough. And I'll show you, I'll give you an example. I've got the force feedback on this turned down a little bit. So it is quite um, full on in this car. But uh, as we come into that carousel, I'll just kind of explain what I'm feeling. So right then I could feel the, uh, the front wheel slipping then. Bags of understeer. But this is a car because you can feel what's going on. You can um, you can really 
correct with the throttle and brake. So as we go into this corner, I can feel I can feel the front understeering and I can feel the rear rotating on exit there. You can feel when it's going to lock up and lift immediately. So I can feel that slipping then. can really feel how hard the suspension is <laughs> in this cup car which I think is fantastic this is a car that's known for that obviously limited adjustability in this car so it's known to be a very hard car it responds well to a lot of preload I found Yeah, super fun car to drive, very addictive. One of my all time favourites now, I think. Oh, I felt that go then. Let's give it all made a chance. Understeer, understeer, understeer. And a little bit of oversteer there. Understeer, understeer, understeer. Come on. Slide it through that chicane. Come on, that was a good run through there, come on. Oh, I overshot that. I can feel exactly what the car was doing though, and corrected. So that little lift there to cause a little bit of nose in. A little bit of oversteer. I've shifted too early then. Can we scoot past? Oh, he's right there. Is he still there? I love the uh, it's really well positioned exit ripple strips here. You can really use all of the track and you really need to with this car. Try to get the cars um, to use the ripple strips, as you can see through there, and try to smash them through those chicanes as quickly as I could. So it, um, it appears to be working. Oh. I might have had a couple of bumps, I think. Yes, I'm going in. <laughs> Just wants to rotate. Too wide. 
very easy to wear uh, with this car. I mean, you've got to drive it on the edge, but I think it's quite easy to overdrive it and then wreck your tyres. Which I guess is the balance with this car because it is so um, limited in, in adjustability. Two laps to go. Oh, can we get him? I think we can. It's quite slow through there. I don't want him to make a mistake, I want to try and get past him. Oh no 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 no! No 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 no! Oh. <sighs> totally messed it up, come on come on! No 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 no! Oh, down to 8th. Alright, let's claw this back. Man, I've only got a lap left. believe that. Okay, can we get a good run through here? Come on, come on. Keep it together. Oh man. What a what a stuff up. Oh that's racing. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, I'll be sure to upload more content soon. I'm going to start working on Valadolunia next um, to see if I can... <laughs> I've had enough, I've had enough too. Um, see if I can sort that track out. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.